Hi everyone, warm welcome back to my channel where I review items that I find beautiful and useful. And today I have decided to review a bag that initially I haven't thought of reviewing because it's just my very basic laptop bag which I purchased I think over a year ago, could be two years ago when I was in Milan. And I never thought that this bag would be like very special. It's my just go-to bag for carrying laptop if I'm wearing a lighter outfit. But one day I was asked, is this Hermes? And I was very surprised about the question because no, obviously not. And why would someone even ask about it? I thought, because it's not like any bag from Hermes that I know, but maybe I know too few of them. And then I researched and found that there is actually a bag from Hermes that is very similar to this one. <laughs> and then I thought I will share with you what bag this is and uh, where I bought it, what I think about it. So yeah, maybe also have a little bit of a discussion. Is it really similar to that Hermes bag or, or maybe that was just one person's opinion? So let's have a look together and I hope that we would have a, an interesting discussion based on that as well. And of course, before we start, I want to remind that my channel is very new. It's literally just uh, four months or maybe three even. So I would really appreciate if you support my creative experiment here on YouTube by subscribing. Of course, if you enjoy this kind of uh, content. Okay, and now about the bag. So this bag, let me show you from um, different angles, is from a brand called Bonfanti. And it's an Italian brand and they produce bags since 1945. This bag is in canvas, as you can see, in beige color. And it also has straps and a calf skin in a brown color. Uh, on the other side, it looks like that. It has a small pocket here. And you see a Bonfanti written here on the, on the closure button. So it's nearly all in canvas. The lining is on canvas as well and um, the lever part is on the bottom and on the straps as you can see. And this bag as I mentioned I bought in their boutique in Milan. It's possible also to order online. When I was walking around and saw that boutique, you know, as I'm a person generally interested in uh, handbags, I, I entered and I found this bag in a, quite a good uh, design and also very practical for, for its size and uh, at that time I had a perfect black handbag for work and laptop use cases but I didn't have any that would be light and to me this this was like a perfect one and uh, then I just decided yeah to buy it and have this kind of souvenir from from that visit in Italy and never never during that uh, trip or wearing this bag later how I thought that Hermes would ha have a, any kind of similar bag. To me this design is, is not anything that would ever remind me of Hermes. <laughs> but apparently when I got the question if this is a Hermes bag and I answered obviously no, uh, I did a little bit more of research and it turns out that there is a Hermes bag called Garden Party which actually looks very similar, especially from if you look at this side, they look very, very similar. The only difference that I could uh, see was that the straps in Hermes bag, they go all the way down here uh, to the bottom and then they continue on the other side. However, that bag from Hermes that I've seen now online, it doesn't have any supporting feet here, but this one does. And also this handbag has a pocket here on the front, on one side, uh, however, Hermes doesn't have. Otherwise, I think that they are quite similar. They all, both have a lever strap here on the sides. The shape is similar and the size, let me measure. So this one is 35 centimeters long and approximately 20, 28 centimeters tall. And here up, it's also 35. And if we look on the side, here, approximately 18 centimeters. And this bag has really nice leather handles. Uh, and the quality of leather is really good. I remember when purchasing it, I, I, I really sensed that this leather quality is, is amazing. 
and it also uh, has a very good quality leather smell, I would say. Uh, if you have, for instance, Celine belts, uh, the, the smell of the leather reminds me of Celine belt leather. And, you know, I've shared in my previous videos that belts from Celine, they are incredibly good quality and you, you can really feel that they have chosen the best quality. So although this bag doesn't have many leather details, but those that are here, they are really great quality. And uh, I would say it's also made very well, like no defects, very even, very, uh, yeah, good craftsmanship. They have added also two buttons on the sides to expand the bag. So you can expand it fully like that. And inside there's just one big compartment and one zipper pocket here for smaller items. And it says here again, Bonfante and made in Italy. What I particularly like about this handbag, why I decided to buy for my laptop is because, let me show you, I can put my laptops like that on the side of the bag. Can you see? And then I can close the sides like that. So my laptop is placed very nicely on the one side of the bag and then I have plenty of space for other items like a pouch, my, my wallet, I, I don't know, a bottle of water, whatever you like. And with a laptop inside it still uh, looks nice and it keeps the shape. Although when I load it heavily uh, I sometimes notice that it goes like that, you know stretches a bit on uh, one side and that's because the bottom isn't very hard so when you carry something more heavy it starts to fold so i, I was thinking to add maybe a um, base shaper or or some organizer inside I haven't done it yet so let me share a little close-up of the canvas and the lever Here's how it looks, and the bottom. It's, it's really nicely grained leather. I mean, it's beautiful, really. And here's the other side where you can see it says, the, it says Bonfante. And here's a pocket as well. Here is how it looks inside. So the closure, the, a little pocket and a big, big compartment. And the little soap that I got is here as well. And a close-up of the handles. So, I don't know, what do you think? Does it remind you of the garden party from Hermes, this bag? Uh, to me, well, to some extent, yes. But at the same time, I mean, it's not a replica bag because it says Bonfante both inside, it says on the hardware, the brand, and it's not like a completely the same design because there is a pocket here. I don't know, even the size probably is different than, than the Hermes. But at the same time, I mean, there certainly are similarities in their design, for sure. If you compare from pictures one to one, uh, I can understand why I was asked that question. But did that question made me think, why don't I buy a Hermes garden party bag? Um, actually not, because to me, Hermes is about like Birkin and Kelly, Clemence and similar bags that are very classical and leather handbags in general. While this one, it's just a very basic tote. And even if I knew that there is a similar bag from Hermes in canvas. I wouldn't buy it for, I don't know how much would that be from Hermes, uh, at least 3000 euros, I believe, perhaps four or five, if my guess is correct. I wouldn't spend that money for a canvas bag. Like it's, it's really nice canvas, but it's not leather. There are just a few leather details here. Uh, for this bag, I paid 180 euros. It was with a dust bag and a box, and I also got the, this little scrub soap, also branded Bonfante in 1945, 100% uh, made in Italy. 
for washing this bag in case I would need. And I haven't used it yet because I don't have any stain on the canvas, but it's really nice. And it smells gently and nicely as well. So to me, I, I'm still really glad about this purchase. And I don't think that this brand has aimed to copy a Hermes bag, but I cannot know. I would need to research which year Garden Party was designed uh, and when did Bonfanti release this bag. <laughs> but I mean, they, they seem to be like a little family business from 1945 um, and they don't have a very huge um, collection. They, they have not that many, but simple and practical bags, it seems. And I think that for, for this kind of a tote, it has a really reasonable price. I mean, 180 euros, it's an okay price. Uh, and I don't consider this bag any fancy bag or so. For me, it's just a like a book tote. I don't know, Chloe or Marc Jacobs have also that, those kind of tote bags. Uh, so for me, it's like a normal book tote or, or, or like a work bag that I enjoy using when I have uh, my laptop with me or if I'm going for a weekend trip to to visit friends um, or even sometimes shopping so to me this bag is perfect as it is but I wouldn't pay 10 or 20 times more for a similar bag from from Hermes so generally I haven't planned to to film this bag initially but after all I thought I also want to show you uh, this bag that isn't very known, but uh, but it is practical. It has a very clear use case. And uh, now after almost two years of having it, I can say that I still recommend it. It has a supporting feet. It's well structured, good quality lever and canvas. It's expandable, it fits a lot. So uh, yeah, I thought why not to share it here? <laughs> but please write in comments, what do you think about it? Does it remind you of Hermes Garden Party? Maybe you have Hermes Garden Party, so you, you can compare a bit. If not, then maybe you have uh, wished to have Garden Party, but couldn't justify the price for a canvas bag to cost uh, thousands uh, of euros or more. I don't know exactly how much it costs. And then perhaps this one is a good alternative for you, because they want to, they have an online boutique and this bag is available in a couple of versions with dark blue and um, I think lime or orange leather straps. So yeah, you can have a look and, uh, and see if you like it and maybe order as well. Yeah, so generally this is a really carefree, simple tote uh, that I personally would recommend buying. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed uh, this video, welcome to subscribe and come back to watch my other videos then. Bye for now!